Hey guys, Mr. BMC here with a plumbing video for you tonight. I just wanted to do a little bit of a kind of an informational video since my channel's kind of a cluster of a number of different things. I just kind of wanted to do a quick video for you where I go over the highlights of a few different plumbing things. We're going to talk tonight about the thermocouple on an older style, outdated gas hot water heater on the standing pilot ignition systems and we're going to go over just exactly what does the thermocouple do and what it is used for and what it has to do inside the hot water heater to keep your pilot light remaining lit throughout the entire course. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this phone around and we're going to show you right here is the hot water heater. As I get down onto the floor here, little plumber style for you. First, let me show you the gas valve control box and the thermocouple. And then take you inside to the pilot. Right here is the gas valve control box. The gas valve sits right in here inside this box. This right here is the thermocouple. And it screws in with about a 7 8 on side the far left on this. These are pretty universal as far as what they fit into and then how they fit into the pilot. I could just go to the scrapyard and get one of these if I needed to replace one. I could even probably, if I had to replace yours, take this off my own hot water heater put my working one into yours. So we're going to talk a little bit about what role this is playing here. I'm zoomed right in on the pilot, which as you can see is burning and it's a good blue flame, which is that's about what we want to see. That's really ideal as far as how good of a pilot you're ever going to get. What that is doing is you can see the bar right down there. Maybe you can't. You can see at times that there's a little bar lays in the pilot. That's the thermocouple, which heats very quickly and cools very quickly after the, there's no direct heat source on it. Should the wind ever blow this pilot out during the middle of a heavy windstorm or something, this thermocouple, which conducts heat and re and becomes heated by the presence of a direct flame source needs to be heated up to about 25 millivolts or so to continuously keep this open. It has to at least be able to keep more than about 5 to 10 millivolts in order to allow the magnet in here inside this gas valve which is like a plunger when that stays connected that keeps that gas valve open and gas is allowed to flow through here and that's obviously what makes your pilot work is the gas flow along with a uh, along with oxygen inside there so if the wind were to come through there and blow that out, within about a minute, this would cool down to about 3-4 millivolts. And it would open up that plunger and close the gas valve. The magnet would become demagnetized. And that dramatically decreases the likelihood that you would ever have a fire inside your house due to excess pilot gases. Now I'm going to show you a little bit now. I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to show you what would have to happen. The procedure you'd have to go through if you ever needed to relight this pilot. Okay, so I've manually relit the pilot now. And as you look in there, it's burning good again. I had shut the pilot, turned it off completely. What you can see that I'm doing here now is I'm holding in on the knob to the gas valve, holding it right there steady on the pilot position. What you want to do is to do that for about a minute, 
if you've ever had to relight the pilot because it's gone out in a wind storm or what have you. And you want to hold that in for about one minute. And as you can see here, I've now released my hand from that gas valve bypass knob completely. And the pilot's still going. If that was a bad corroded thermocouple and it was so blackened and carboned on the end that it had gone bad and was unable to generate any current, when I would let go of that gas valve knob, that it's not going to hold the it's not going to hold that magnet in, and that pilot's going to extinguish when I no longer sit there and hold it in on it to keep it open. But the fact that it does you would know that you've got a good pilot and then you would just reinstate it back to burner which at that point you're, you'd be good to put your flame arrestor back on and know that you're going to have a hot shower again very soon so hope you like the content if you like the content give me a hit that like button give me the thumbs up if you like this channel and you want to see more videos ring the bell Give me any suggestions on anything you'd like to see in the near future. And with that, have a wonderful night, ladies and gentlemen.